Hi, I'm Calvin Kaiser over here at JTEC, and today I'm going to be explaining how the power flow works in an Eaton Fuller manual transmission. So to start off, you have your input shaft, which leads into your main shaft, and then on each side of the main shaft, you have a counter shaft. So right now we're in neutral. You spin the input shaft, the main shaft, and both the counter shafts spin freely, pushing no torque no torque out of the end of the transmission, out the output shaft. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go into reverse. When you put that in reverse, it's going to send the power from the input shaft through the counter shafts and then into the or into the idler gears, then into the reverse gear, which will reverse the flow out of the output. Then we're gonna go ahead and go up into first. In first gear, the power is going to run from the input shaft into the drive gear, into the counter shafts, through the counter shafts, into first gear, and then from first gear out the output. Just go ahead and shift that out of first, go into second. And in second gear, like in first gear, power runs from the input shaft to the drive gear through both these counter shafts then into second gear and then out the output shaft. Go into third gear. And in third gear, it's pretty similar to first and second. It's gonna run from the input shaft into the drive gear, through the counter shafts, into third gear, and then all the way through the main shaft out the output shaft. Right now, because this is an overdrive transmission, fourth gear will not be here. If this is not overdrive, this would be fourth, but like I said, this is overdrive, so we have fourth gear. Fourth gear is directly in the drive gear, so as the power goes through the input shaft, it's going to go into the drive gear and straight through the main shaft, out, out, out the output shaft. Then, you have fifth gear. In fifth gear, the power is going to run from the input shaft to the drive shaft, from the drive shaft to both these counter shafts into fifth gear, and then all the way through the main shaft out the output shaft. Now, if your vehicle is equipped with a higher or a low, you're going to want to keep it engaged in gear as you switch to high. And then when you switch back into neutral to go back, this would become six gear here. That would become six gear. And then it works, the power flow would work the exact same way as if you were in first gear. We go through the input shaft to the drive shaft to the drive gear, through the drive gear, into the counter gears, and then into that gear. And then it'll work the exact same way for seventh, eighth. Then you of course your ninth would be again on the drive gear, so you have direct power all the way through the main shaft. And then 10th will be once again right there. So I'll run from input to drive gear to the counter shafts, into 10th gear, and then out the output shaft. So I've been Calvin Kaiser here at JTEC, and that's how an Eaton Fuller manual transmission works.